Welcome to Movilizer. In this video, we would like to show you how you can easily send movelets out of SAP using ABAP. Before we start, we briefly look at the architecture. To connect your SAP system to the Movilizer cloud, you install the Movilizer SAP connector. The Movilizer SAP connector is just an add-on that you install in your SAP NetWeaver system. The Movilizer cloud is connected to the Movilizer client. Before we start creating movelets in ABAP, we need to check a few things. First, we have to ensure that the Movilizer connector is properly installed. Then we have to see if the connector can connect with the Movilizer cloud. And finally, we are going to download the Movilizer client. We go into the SAP system now. First, we have to see if the transaction Movilizer cockpit forward slash movie forward slash start exists. This transaction is not standard. It is delivered as part of the Movilizer connector. To see if the Movilizer SAP connector is able to connect with the Movilizer cloud, we check if the polling job is working. This job is going to poll the cloud and tell if the cloud is now reachable. Now we have our SAP system connected to the Movilizer cloud. Our next step is to download the Movilizer client and register. For this, we go to the corresponding app store, search for Movilizer and download it. When you open the app, you will see that in the beginning it is empty. Once you synchronize, you will receive a registration movelet. To register the client, you enter your phone number and the secret that you received when you registered in the Movilizer portal. When you are registered, you will receive all the movelets that were assigned to this number. Now we are going to create a new movelet in SAP and send it to this device. Now we go to SAP and here we go to the SE80 transaction. Here we have one very simple program. Before we explain what happens, we are going to test this program first to see how it works. Once we have executed this program, we enter the phone number and execute it. We send the movelet we just created to the Movilizer cloud. If we don't want to wait, we press the sync button and the movelet appears on the device. You now see there is a new category called Hello World category with one movelet called Hello World movelet, which consists of just two screens. The first screen just displays a plain text and the second screen gives the opportunity to give a reply by choosing an item in this case. When the movelet is executed and the client is synchronized again, the movelet disappears from the Movilizer client, as you see here. We are now going to explain how it works. The Hello World program you see here is a very simple ABAP report. We are calling this forward slash movie forward slash classes. As you can see, the Movilizer connector for SAP is built in ABAP objects. It refers to a series of classes, for instance, movelets, movelet requests, and so on. First, we need to understand how the program that generates a movelet is structured. In order to be able to generate a movelet, we need to invoke the Movilizer class. We open a movelet set. It's nothing else than an assignment of a movelet to a participant. And finally, we need to create a movelet. In order to create a movelet, we need to set the movelet attributes on header level. Like the movelet name, in our case it's the Hello World movelet, then the movelet category, which in our case is called Hello World category. Furthermore, for example, a set type. In our case, it was a single movelet, 
That means that the movelet will disappear from the mobile device once executed. Also, for each movelet, we always set up a first screen, which in our case is screen number 1000. Once we've defined the head attributes of the movelet, we start to define the screens that will appear. You remember in our example, we had two screens. The first screen was the welcome screen. As you can see, this is a new screen that you are adding to the movelet. This is going to be screen number 1000. It's a message screen. We have the title, Welcome. We had the message, Welcome to the Movilizer Training. And then there is again a text display screen with the number 2000. And in this screen with the number 2000, we are going to set a single select screen. We have a title, Select. We have the text, please select how you like this training example. And then we can add elements to that screen, which effectively are the options that you can select, as you have seen before. I like it very much. It's okay. Or, I don't like it a lot. And then we can define some attributes. For example, what the text is going to be. What is the position? How should it appear on the screen? In this particular example, we say we are going to have no following screens. So we are going to exit the movelet after the single select screen. And in addition to that, we are going to trigger synchronization. Here we have to find for each option that the synchronization will be triggered no matter what you select and the movelet will be finished. And that's all there is. Once we've created the movelet, all that this program is doing is to send the request to the Movilizer web service. It is invoking the submit request method from the forward slash movie forward slash lzr underscore cl underscore movilizer class. Let's give it a try again. All we need to do is just to assign it. And here we see the movelet is now in the movilizer cloud. We synchronize the movilizer client again and see that the movelet we just assigned is now on the device. You see the screens we defined before here. Here we have defined the Hello World category and here the Hello World movelet. And the first screen was the screen number 1000. When we look into the movelet number 1000, we see it has a title called Welcome. It has a text called Welcome to the Movilizer Training. When we press OK, we come to the next screen and the next screen is the single select screen with a few options. We can choose one of the three options. Here we define that this is going to be a movelet exit command, which means that when we press OK and execute this movelet, a full sync will be executed and the data will be sent back to the cloud. Now that we have seen how to create and send a movelet, we would like to look at the replies that were sent to our SAP system from our device. In order to handle replies, you have to specify the scenario to which the movelet is going to be assigned. You can find this scenario in the SPRO transaction. If you go there, you can see there is a customizing called Maintain SAP Connector Setup. And there you see a table in which you see an assignment to movelets and more importantly to handler classes. The reply handler class that we specify here will always be executed whenever a movelet that subscribes to this scenario is coming back from the movelizer cloud. This class that we implemented here 
is going to be a very simple operation with this particular class. It consists of only two methods. We look into the reply handler method. The method reply set reads the reply sets from the movelet and you find the replies in the table. Here you see the last reply that was synchronized with the date and the time of the reply. Now that we understood how to reply handling works, let's do a test run. We are going to execute the program again and assign the movelet. On the mobile device we synchronize again and the movelet appears. This time I choose another option. The synchronization is triggered automatically. Now we want to make sure that the Movalizer cloud is called. For that, as you remember, we go to the Movalizer connector where we have one report in the Movalizer cockpit that allows you to pull the cloud. So now the cloud was called, the report was executed. And what effectively happened in the background was that the scenario found the Movalizer Handler class. And in the Movalizer Handler class, we have a method reply set. The method reply set reads the reply sets from the movelet, and you find the replies in the table. Here you see the last reply that was synchronized with the date and the time of the reply. That was all for a quick hello world scenario in SAP. As you see, you can easily send movelets using ABAP and deploy them to any kind of mobile OS like iOS, Android, Windows 8, Windows Mobile, etc. Thank you for your attention.